bought a trailer in typical Dillon fashion, it's cheap. This is a 20 ton trailer, the cheapest one I could find that looked vaguely worthwhile. Um, it should cost me more to have it towed here. It's got a little bit of roughness. This stuff's not the best. It's got a little spot there. Only has one air hose, missing the chain. I had to buy two tires. I'll we'll have to do that air hose there. The deck, it's not great. It's not horrible. Getting underneath it, it needs some new hangers. The center hangers, really bad. I'll show you the other side. These links down here, completely broken off. And this thing's pretty bad. The rear hangers, I think, are probably okay. We'll have to look closer. Ramps, pretty good. This came from Mass, but it's got a New Hampshire plate. The uh, rear cross members, pretty toasted. The guy assured me it wasn't a rusted out piece of junk. They put some angle iron in to have something to screw to. We'll see if he's lying or not. I don't know quite yet. It's looking crustier every time I look. So this side, that hanger doesn't look too bad. It does have a little vent hole. Maybe those are speed holes. I remember Homer Simpson talking about those. Make it faster. We'll pop through in the middle. It's not the best. This hanger, it's cracked all the way across around the back. We had it jacked up and it was hanging. But in the front hanger here, pretty bad. Let's see if we can save this thing. So I bought two new tires. Those are gonna go up in their own little video for mounting. It's not bad, double coins, they're 200 bucks pop. And I got all new suspension brackets. And adjusters, and all sorts of good stuff. Air hoses, good 700 bucks of stuff. So, see what you think. We're gonna film a bunch, hopefully it's good. Let me know. So first things first, we need to get this flipped over to work on. Unfortunately, traction is not the best. Now we're going to use the truck crane. Things got more power than you think. So pick it up and see if we can flip it over. That said, this thing is ridiculously heavy. It uh, takes a little wiggling to get it to go over just right. I can quite go straight. So, bring the tractor in to see if we can uh, straighten it out, get it lined up better. Actually worked. Wasn't planning on having to flip this thing over when I first bought it. I thought it was going to be uh, a couple tires, maybe a few little touch ups in the back end, and good to go. But. As of most, uh, most things, it uh, wasn't as nice uh, as expected. All the photos I got looked good, but I don't know what type of camera that guy used, but I need one of those. The videos look amazing. Now that we're upside down, I'll move the chains around and see if we can pick it straight up. So, we're just going off the D-rings on the side. Figure if they're good enough to strap everything down, they should be fine to pick it up. And they are super strong. So, got it hooked up and see how it balances. And pretty tail heavy. So, I'm going to shift it a little bit. I'm going to switch the hook a little bit toward the tail. That way it'll hopefully balance better. That way we can get on to the next step getting it back into the shop. Not perfect, but that worked pretty well. So, if you want to know how we're getting into the shop, we're going to shove a trailer under it and have a trailer on a trailer. Put the ramps down, stuff it under, and then we can push both of them back into the shop, and this way, 
easy to move it around if it needs to leave to get parts or anything. Wrap the whole thing in there. It's a little high off the ground, but it's really not too bad to work on. So that's flipped over. Good to go. Now we can really start working on the frame. Very nice. Not too bad. YouTube views. Yeah. People like laugh at my misfortunes usually. Yeah, that's easy to take off. Not much left in a lot of this cracker tree. Might have two good hangers. We'll need to change the pipe. Back in, pretty rough. some light.
one's pretty good. Check it out. Just pulled it off. I mean, you can see from back here, these rear cross members, they're all gone. These side beams, pretty pitted. Maybe a couple little holes in them. Gotta figure out what I'm doing about those. Guy swore to me, one, one center bracket maybe. Yeah, that's, that just fell apart. Not over there, you can see it's right through. Other than that, not a rusty piece of junk. Um, it's probably the one you didn't send me a picture of. Look at this bird poop down weld and how thin this is, there's holes, you can see right through it. Yeah, garbage. Oh, that's nice. I have a strange feeling. Give me a fair amount of plating on this thing when I'm done. But I'm gonna strip off those brackets, these brackets. That's actually a solid bar someone put in. I'll try to use that again. That's it's not bad. This one I got the pipe out of it. I'll probably get a new pipe. It's kind of rusty. This one up here, these actually look usable. So because it's a cheap piece of junk, I think I'll use it because well I keep putting too much money into everything. This one's got rust hole in it, but it's got some angle iron on it. I think I might just walk away from that one for right now. I'll focus on doing those four front brackets. I mean this one's incredible though. I bet we could peel this right off with the crane. Look at that, it was rusted right through, it wasn't even attached. I probably should look at these axles because I bet these axles removed are worth more than I paid for the whole trailer. <laughs> Maybe I should just sell the parts. Axles, scrap metal. I don't know, it's got a good jack on it. I'll probably keep it going, but here's where we're at. We're working on rusty junk, as usual. So we got a couple bad tires on here. I already changed one. This is why I'm changing them. Um, you see how cracked that is? It's cracked almost all the way through. Got a couple like that. Start changing my thought, huh? If you guys want to see me struggle on some tires, that's why I usually take tires to a tire shop. But big tires are actually easier to deal with than a car. The main problem is that everything about them is heavy and stinks. But they aren't that hard to do. You haven't broken free of the beat and these weren't stuck. You usually have to take a hammer and pound them free. I'm pretty lucky on that front. Soap works. This is the real tire soap, not just dish soap. Makes a big difference for slipperiness. I've done them with dish soap, it works okay. side one. Oh, check this out. It was flat and adjust the camera so you can see. It was flat. I mean like for a long time. It's completely full of water. Nice. I can 
puddle to work in, even better. Come in here. And that's how they're supposed to go. Don't always do that. There's my rim. These are Dayton's, but it works the same on all the different rims. The Dayton's are just the ones that are hollow in the middle. And they're a little bit of an old school style. Kind of like them. If you know how to mount them, they're uh, a little bit lighter to handle because you don't have as much steel. They aren't fun, but up the center there's a little bit less and uh, they don't have the ridiculous bolt torque. You can do them with rasp on the side of the road if you have to. A lot of guys don't like them because uh, if you don't true them properly, your wheels wobble all over the place, and that's terrible. So you can see the cut is off center in here. So you want to start everything on the side. It's got more of a taper than the cut. Try to go over here, it isn't going to work. So stick that up. This junk tire up and we got a brand new tire. I know everybody said, see, proof it's new. I'm cheap, but I do buy tires occasionally. Not very often. You want to start with some soap? I like to rub it around and get it all over that bead edge. It uh, really helps. Both sides. This tire, the direction doesn't matter, so start it on there. That's I get it on the bead. Oh, on the rim. Uh, let me get this over here and I'll show you how to air them up. Yeah, brand new, never seen anything. Nice. Usually I'll leave the valve stem out until we get it on the bead, but these are fitting pretty tight. I'm just going to stick it in there. If you don't have it in there, you air it up and then uh, you have to pull it off quick and thread it in while it's breathing. Now, I've been borrowing these from buddies for years. I finally decided to stop being so cheap. I went on eBay, bought the cheapest 10 gallon one I could find. 
It was 80 bucks. I should have bought it years ago. Um, as cheap as it was, it's actually pretty thick. If you put a different logo on it, I probably wouldn't know the difference. Um, I need an adapter just because different air hoses in this shop than I usually run. But put air to it. So this is how far we got today. Got that plate measured out. I'll make a whole new plate for here because that's junk. Um, this stuff is pretty good. That bar is free. I was about to cut these off. I need to do a lot of measuring to make sure they go back in the right spot. I mean, look at that. See through it, giant rust holes. I didn't even mess with that one. That one popped up. Rust hole. I scaled the frame back a little bit. Yeah, beams left a little thinner, but I'll probably stick a little strip of steel in there to strengthen it up. These actually are, this pair is okay. The pipe isn't the best, but we'll see if we get to that. That's not that big a deal, I don't think. Changing these out, big deal. That one, yep. Changing out all these back here. Um, the axles, one here, there's on the floor on the other side. I got my tires just about all set. I had one valve stem where the tires spun on the uh, hub, hub's a little sticky. We'll get to that stuff after the frame's good. Uh, broke the valve stem. The rest of them, we got our new tires mounted, our couple flats fixed. One valve stem, we'll be done with that. Um, but this side of the frames, really not too bad. This side, not as good. I'm going to cut some full plates that fit this whole tail here. Go right to the seam and I'll weld those on. And that'll, that should fix whatever issues there are. These are not very good. I think what I'm going to do, since the boards are bolted onto these, the deck boards are going to come off the tail. And then I've got some galvanized um guardrail holding posts i think since they didn't weld them in the center they just float through there i think without the deck boards i'll be able to angle them up through in two halves and uh weld them in the center and i'll have fresh i-beams from one side to the other i only need to do that in the tail so that looks like there's one two three four of them and the front one i could probably skip it's not perfect, but it's really not too bad. The middle's bad. I'll start with the really nasty ones, like this guy, and just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we'll stick a strip on the inside of this side because after scaling it, you can see that I beam's pretty bad. Um, so that'll get a plate, all new hangers. Uh, the C channel on the side is actually in really good shape. The deck's not too bad. Jack's good. I think it's worth saving. Um, I cut the bolts holding the air tank out because I'll need to get in back here. Uh, air tank looks like it's okay. I haven't tested it. I'm getting new, all new rubber hoses. They're a pain to get to and they're easy right now. Um, here's the other axle. I think these air cans are original. I'll look into some air cans, although if these work, I'll just run them. The brake pads don't look too bad in there. Um, I definitely need some new caps. A couple of the plastic caps are busted. I think I have four of those. I'll probably throw wheel seals at it while I'm there just because it can't hurt. They're cheap and I think I even have them. I need to look into these links. So these axles had the adjustable link, which I had to cut out. A bolt won't come out. I have to cut the bushing. It was rubber. It was nasty. I want to do that where there's good air. This side, I couldn't get the bolt out. There's rubber in the link. So I'm gonna go see how much the bushings are and how much the whole link is. I'm gonna buy all new bolts. They aren't really coming out. The nuts came off, bolts won't come out. It's pretty typical. You end up with 
this problem right here. You can see the, the hammer on, so this bolt's junk, but the center of the rubber bushing rusts onto the bolt and you're never gonna get that off. You can sometimes cut, 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 and then snip it off the outside, but you're saving a rusted out piece of junk. So I'm gonna buy new bolts, they aren't that expensive. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can either get the bushings for the ends or some of the stuff's incredibly cheap. If these are 50 bucks, I'll just buy brand new ones with the ends, not deal with it. If they're a lot more, I'll see about putting the rubber ends in them. But I'll find out the truck shop. Spring packs look pretty good. I don't see any broken leaves. I'm happy with that. I think this trailer is going to be good. Let me know what you think on it. If there's anything you think I should do. Things I'm doing really dumb. I don't know. Oh, I need one more safety chain up there. I'll, I got on my list too. Let me know what you think. I'll be working on it and I'm trying to post this stuff live so you can probably get a comment in before I really get to the next step. I'll be back here in a couple days. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of this and hit that like button. It really does help out my channel and doesn't cost you anything. So have a good day.